Uh, this is the trouble. Maybe I should start using emulators. So I'm gonna go through all this shit. Alright. You can definitely tell I use real consoles. Fucking problems I have. Alright. One player or two player. Let's move our little donut looking inner tube. You like the tube in font? Foot <laughs> fetish cover art? Mm -hmm. Um, alright. Get ready for River, Colorado, then press A button. Okay. I hit A. Right, let's say. I'm collecting something. Candy? I guess. I don't know what I'm getting, but I'm getting something. Alright, oh, it's basically ski free, huh? How would you even go up there to get in that whirlpool? Oh, you can get soda? I'm fucking getting soda, are you kidding me? Get some soda right here. I want soda. 500, go through there, yeah, get those points. You played the arcade version? <laughs> the water, the water animation is just fabulous. See that guy? Taking, fishing over there? Look at him. Wow. These are great graphics. The only game I can think of um, that even comes close to these kind of graphics. Not as good as this. I'm talking about the water. Um, Sea of Thieves um, is almost as good as this, but not quite. Not quite. I actually really prefer this. You probably think I'm joking, but I'm really not. I prefer the retro look of, of water with the way these pixels are. It's definitely like far superior and he goes down the toilet hole and player player is biff apparently that's what the game thinks of me they they, they named me biff because apparently the game thinks i'm a total fucking asshole which i agree with so it's fine they can call me biff <sighs> i look up he says oh god tubin that's right it looks like an atari 2600 game well it would be Amazing if it looks like that. Since Atari 2600 is one of the greatest consoles ever made. Actually, it's just looking a little like frogs and flies here now. Ooh. Mmm. Pepsi. And I don't know, what am I collecting? Bars of soap? Like. Isn't there like a red bar of soap? You guys remember that? In the in the Christmas story, did she stick like a red bar of soap in his mouth? Did anybody in the chat ever have that done? I always thought that was so weird. The the you get in trouble and the and the mother sticks a bar of soap in your mouth. That's like so awful. I guess that's that's what they did back then. Yes, red soap. Dial soap, is that what it is? Dial soap. Does anybody use red soap? Who here uses red soap? <laughs> that's, that's the burning question I have for my for my chat in my tube and stream. So he's collecting bars of soap. He's going down the river, getting his fucking balls. Your soap is purple. Elsa's soap is purple. Last house on the left. You use purple soap. Okay. I want to I wanna see if anybody... I'm just pausing for a second. Shintario says my soap is brownish. Alright, let's get off of the soap subject now. That, that, that ends the soap conversation. <sighs> I can't win, I can't win, I can't win. 
Yes, that that's right. Baron von Wolfenstein is so in the butt. You you got it. <sighs> you like the golden color soap? Okay. My parents used to put liquid dawn in my mouth when I swore. Oh, that's terrible. Come on. Really? When you swore? things. I use anal grease as my soap. That's great, Valio. That's good. <laughs> anyway, this all came from right there. What? What is he actually collecting right there? What is that red fucking thing in Tubin? What is that supposed to be? Because to me it just looks like a floating bar of soap. Do we have any real guesses to what that is actually supposed to be? We just gonna keep calling it fucking red dial soap. A soda can? Is it? Oh, is it a soda can? Okay, well that that would make sense. It's a can of coke. Okay. Well, that actually makes sense then. Oh, you fucking! You can you can throw the coke. There's weapons. Holy shit! There's weapons. Okay, I didn't know this until right now. There are weapons fucking branch. Branch of shit. I wonder if James would- I feel like James would like this. <laughs> yeah, that's what James Their There cans of tab. Uh, okay! God forbid I call it a fucking can of coke. Fine, it's tab. It's fucking tab. I was wrong. You're right. It's fucking tab. Tab soda. Or is it even called tab soda or is it just tab? I don't want to get it wrong. Jesus fucking Christ. And what is this? The other the other thing was a fucking can of tab. This is gonna be... I don't know. I can't even think of what it would be. I don't- I- that, that looks like nothing to me. A green... nothing. It's a- <laughs> it's a douchebag. <laughs> the chat says it's a douchebag. It's a green jar. It's a Tide tablet. Kind of looks like a fish with no head. You know, I, that's what I was kind of thinking. I, I thought it also looked like a fish. I thought so, too. Listen to this fucking music. I feel like I should be in... Fuck you, you fucking... I shouldn't... <sighs> Do I have rage issues? <laughs> God damn it. It's only a tubin. It's only an old NES game. It's just a little fake alligator. It'll be fine. You know what I need? An ice cold tab. <laughs> Brand X. Alright, Tubin. I'm gonna fucking beat this goddamn game. Is this even like a beatable game or is this just like a score thing? I feel like this has to just be score, huh? I mean, we're getting points here, so. And we never got an answer. What that fucking green thing is, I wanna know. I bet, you know what the thing is? I bet if we played the arcade game, the graphics are probably good enough that you can tell what they are. I bet. That's what I think. But since we're playing the NES port, you can't tell what shit is. Uh, I was gonna go up there and get that can cooked, but that's not happening. The green things are Jalapeno Cheddar, Dor Cheddar Doritos 3D. They, probably. There we go, 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 go. I'm assuming if you touch the, the fishing rod, fucking probably die there, so. Oh, 
Oh yeah, kids today would love to go tube in that fucking lake. It's the pop. You see, kids don't want to play Fortnite. They want to go tubing down a fucking lake. Down a dangerous lake, by the way. Those are like rocks and shit. This, this kid's crazy. And by the way, do you like his sunglasses and shorts? Throw a can at the fisherman? I could try that. Here we go. This is where we find our supper in the moat. Two thousand points! Yeehaw! <laughs> Listen to this fucking music. Where are we in fucking Alabama now? Get those points, Cletus! By the way, that does, like, n nothing, practically, shooting them. Why, well, you know what? Why would shooting cans of tab at a crocodile do anything? I'm not gonna fucking go for that red dial soap game. You're not tricking me with that soap trick. And let me tell you, you never want to be tricked by, with a bar of soap. It's not a good situation. Looks like nothing is what it looks like. Anyway, I'll get off of that. Who cares what it fucking looks like? Let's get some points. 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000. No whammy, no whammy. Stop. There should, be, should have been a pressure lock game. Maybe there was. What do I know? Tube of toothpaste. Oh my god, it's the fucking creature from the Black Lagoon. I met the creature from, from the Black Lagoon, actually. Ben Chapman. He was a very nice guy. Play Kaboom, bitch. Well, Bazinga. Bazinga. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, no. No, I love Kaboom. Um, and I will play more Kaboom, but not right now, because I'd have to hook the Atari up, and that's a bitch. See, I'm only doing Super Nintendo and NES right now because, like, that's what's hooked up. I could do Genesis, too, but that's just what's hooked up right now. I don't want to go breaking out other consoles at the moment. Oh. Sounds like the music in the Roadrunner NES game. What kind of soap does Kermit use? Hmm. What is that shit over there? Oh, it's a fucking... Oh my god! Jesus, it just reminded me of Red Dead's coming out. Which I wanna play. That's, it, is, that's it, like the end of October, right? Are those cacti? Sound like the song. In Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, like in the beginning of the movie, the, like the theme music. Oh, bowls. Kermit just gets thrown in the washing machine with the rest of the Muppets. Wait, what is it about this? Kermit is gonna be thrown. Oh, by the way, speaking of Kermit the fucking frog. <laughs> um, I actually have. So there's a Muppet game for NES, and I'm pretty sure when you are Kermit in the Muppet NES game, aren't you in a fucking tube? Isn't it basically tubing? It's very funny that we're talking about Kermit the Frog right now. Unless I'm completely crazy and wrong. Has anybody ever played that Muppet NES game? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let's see if anybody knows. This little rhino horn goes, Speaking of Kermit the fucking Frog. <laughs> Caribbean Amphibian. 
Someday you'll find us, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Someday it could be magic. We've only just begun to live in the country. <laughs> Fucking cacti. Mm, yeah, Muppet Adventure. <laughs> Super Jeff says, I did. That game sucks. But it's it's Kermit, though. I mean, it's um, Kermit's in an inner tube, right? Is that correct? That's correct, right? Somebody help me out. Or am I nuts? What cactus grows in water? Hey, it's just a video game. Just like UN Squadron. Not everything has to be realistic. No, it all has to be realistic. It all has to be exactly like real life, okay? There can't be a fucking aircraft carrier with a whatever. I don't even know how to explain it. And there can't be a fucking cactus coming out of the water that looks like a tuning fork. It just doesn't happen. Do I own Power Blade NES? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I have so many games I don't remember what I have anymore. Shit. I might. Um, I'm not sure. I have to look through them. <laughs> I think it isn't it they're trying to kind of do like da -da 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 or something. I don't know what they're trying to do. Like some speedy Gonzalez shit. The only puppets I like are Lamb Chop, Hush Puppy, and Charlie Horse. You know what, Duo? That's not fucking true. I know other puppets that you love and that you... I'm gonna correct you right now. What about fucking King Friday the 13th and fucking, um, Daniel Tiger? Hello? You fucked Charlie Horse? It's good. <laughs> Karumba. I, you know what? I used to have the Bart Simpson. Does anybody here ever see the like original Bart Simpson toy? I fucking love that. Daniel Tiger is your favorite. See? I guess Mike didn't watch Lamb Chops play along. I have seen Lamb Chops play along. I have seen it. Henrietta, Henrietta Pussycat is a drama queen. She's always freaking out about shit and everyone tries to talk her off a ledge. I don't disagree with that. She has very, she definitely has problems. I feel like everyone knows Henrietta, uh, Henrietta Pussycat in their life. Okay, now we are in, there's, we're, somehow we've traveled back in time. This is game has now become Turtles in Time. And we have, we have, oh, you know what? Maybe those, that's what those whirlpools are. Did, did we travel back to fucking like Mark Twain era and now we're in fucking... Is this a time travel... Is this a time traveling inner tube? That's amazing. I fucking... I have a newfound respect for this game. Holy shit. Those fucking whirlpools are time portals, guys. Oh my god, this game is brilliant. I fucking love this game now. I was about to shut it off, and I was like, oh, this game sucks. Now I think it's the fucking greatest plot I've ever fucking heard in my life. Are you fucking kidding me? Time traveling fucking inner tube? That's great. Now that's how you make a fucking video game. I love it. <laughs> tube and randomizer. Let's go. Should I get? Should I go in that? Fuck. I'm going in. Woo! We're Twilight zoning. Yeah, Hot Tub Time Machine stole the idea. It stole the concept from this game. Uh oh. It's Arctic Adventure. Mm. 
That's not annoying, by the way. Almost as annoying as I am. <laughs> Nobody can top me, though. Let's get some. Let's get some soap, so he can either shove it in his mouth or shove it up his ass. With language like that, he's gonna have it in his mouth any minute. So that I can collect. I actually still don't know what it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Monkey cheese! <laughs> ah! Go in there! Um, the chat is probably like, please Mike beat this level so we don't have to hear that anymore. Okay, at least that's over. Eskimos? He's throwing dicks at me! Are we gonna see any polar bears? Oh, let's go. There you go. This is a pretty fun game, actually. I don't mind this. Oh my god, we're speaking a different language in here. I've never played this game this far before. It's totally bonkers. Bonkers. Bubba bonkers. We are now. This is interesting. Okay, we're. Okay, we're in. Okay, there's a couple things going on here that I have to talk about. First of all. First of all, we are in Egypt. There's, you know, the Great Pyramid of Giza. There's the Sphinx. It's shooting like laser beams at us. That's a little problematic, but hey, the Sphinx is there. Whatever, it's a video game. Why is there a guy with a gun, though? That's the part that's bothering me. You wouldn't have, like, guns didn't exist then. It, unless, like, is this supposed to take place now? Or, like, I guess in the 80s? Sphinx. Sphinx. Sphinx, whatever. It's the sphincter. <clears throat> sphincter. The pyramid is very small. It is, yeah, it's like... They need to take a page from... Talk about a small pyramid, there you go. But he is the same size as that pyramid, by the way. Just just to give you a sen sense of the scale of this game. I was gonna say Assassin's Creed Origins. Mike hates story, but he makes his own. That's right. Who the fuck needs story when I I'm gonna fucking make the goddamn story? That's the best part about old games is that you make the fucking story up yourself. You don't need any fucking story. Fuck that. Make your own goddamn story. It'll be better than whatever the fuck story they come up with. And you might not like my story. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you play the game and you make up your own story. Your story will be better for you. You probably think my story sucks, but I think my story is fucking great, alright? <laughs> See what I'm saying? So when you play a game and you come up with your own story, then you'll know what I'm talking about. I guess you pick one of those. Tubing through time. Pizza Gamer says, fuck story. Imagination, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Rumor has it, the Sphinx has a gaping asshole. <laughs> oh my. The Sphincter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he said Sphinx. <laughs> yeah. Shit, what? 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 Where am I? Are we in the Technodrome? Where are we now? What is going on? We've, we've, the, the Technodrome has been flooded because Bebop and Rocksteady are, uh, are Cretans once again. You Cretans. Thank God we have this. Cans of soda pop. Yeehoo! That's what we call it down yonder. Pop! Uh, 
Head for the hills! <laughs> Final boss of this game? Molarom, believe it or not. I know, I know that probably sounds surprising, but it's Molarom. Motherfucker. <laughs> what are you gonna do, bitch? I'm tubing now! <laughs> uh, mental problems. Oh my darling, oh my darling. We're back to the beginning now. Have I traveled through time and made it back to the present? Will Batman and the Boy Wonder survive? Tune in next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. That show's so fucking good. Oh no, oh no. No wonder the turtles have problems getting through the technodrome. They filled it with water. Why does the tubing guy in the artwork look like he's getting blown? That's a good question. The artist was putting in some extra hours that day over at Tengen. He's like, fuck, you know what? I work at Tengen. Leave me alone. We just made a fucking Roadrunner game and nobody likes it. So... I'm gonna make this fucking guy look like he's getting head from a fucking alligator. Leave me alone. And then he quit, because he didn't get paid enough. And that's, that's how it went. He got blown by a fish. You know what fish it was? It was the fish from that fucking Indiana Jones game. A young Indiana Jones. Oh no, wait, what was it fucking called? It was called... Where is that fucking game? You know what it was called? It's called Instruments of Chaos. You know what? This game is a fucking instrument of chaos. Fucking instrument of chaos. Fuck that game. I don't know if any of you guys were here earlier when I was playing that. And any of you guys in here now, in here earlier when I was playing that? Because that fucking game. That is maybe the worst game I've ever fucking played in my life, and that is saying something. That is really saying something. That game is fucking awful. Awful. There's nothing good about it. Like, it, it blew my mind. Worse than Sonic 06? Um... Well, Sonic 06 is pretty fucking terrible. Um... It, I pro I, I'm thinking about it. It probably is. It probably is worse, actually. And that's... You know, there's nothing really good about Sonic 06, though, so... That's... A, that's I have to really think about that. But that, that was a good one to compare it to, that's for sure. Sonic 06 was fucking terrible. Worse than E.T.? Oh my, it's definitely... E.T. is not even that bad. It's definitely fucking worse than E.T. It's a hundred thousand times worse than E.T. E.T. is just... I mean, E.T. is not a good game, but it's not awful if you know how to play it. I mean, at least at the time. But yeah, there's no way E.T. is the worst game. There's so much worse than that, even on the Atari 26. Exactly! Exactly, that you couldn't have spoken that sentence better. There are much worse games on the Atari 2600 than E.T. In fact, um, what was that fucking one I was just playing recently? Um, I did a stream of a bunch of A games, um, but there was, um, what the fuck was that one I was playing? You know what, you know what game fucking sucked? Um, I really loved Sky Skipper for, um, the arcade on the Nintendo Switch. One, one of the best reasons to own a Nintendo Switch. No, really. But Skyskipper on Atari 2600 is a fucking piece of shit. Okay? And you guys know that I'm fucking, I love the Atari 2600. But that game is fucking dog shit. So. So there, there's just one Atari game that's much worse than E.T. And, 
and there are others. So, and I'm definitely not saying that E.T. is good. It's not good. It's not a good game, but it, there's some things about it that have merit. You know, a lot of thought um, and time went into that game. Try, they, they, you know, Howard Scott Warshaw tried very hard to make that a good game. Um, more than I can say for, a, like, a bunch of Atari games that are not very good and not a lot of thought went into. But, this is not a shitting on Atari stream, because I would never really do that. Um, there are so many games. It's kind of like, it's, you know, I guess any system, really. There's good games and there's bad games, and all, every system has good games and bad games. I love that the creature from Black, Black Lagoon is in here. Mod, mod the Virtual Boy. Alright, um, so it's, it appears that I'm just going around and around and around here. It's like the same thing with Tubin. So I think we've seen it all because I've seen now the creature from the Black Lagoon twice. This is a fun game. I mean, there's not a lot to it, but um, get ready for the River Rio Grande. Um, it's, a, you know, it's, a, it's a fun game. This isn't bad, but it's the, this is probably the kind of game you play for 10 minutes and then that's probably, probably enough. But it's, it's fun. It's fun enough.